Welcome to Cycling Academy. This is uh, my FTP test that I just uploaded for you yesterday. Uh, I did it a week ago on Friday, uh, January 13th. Uh, this is me struggling through those 20 minutes uh, time trial uh, through this test. Uh, and today I have three tips for you on how to do a good FTP test. We're going to be talking about FTP test a lot. What is it exactly? How does it help with the training? But how to do a good FTP test just for those uh, beginning cyclists. Three tips. Number one, pacing. Number two, cadence. Number three, resistance or gearing. Um, and I had some problem on that uh, Friday. Let's start with, with my FTP. Uh, it was 232 which for a cyclist who's been training regularly is very low. Uh, this is my whole ride here. You will see it. speed, power, heart rate, cadence. What's important for us is the power, heart rate and cadence, but mostly power uh, and cadence. Uh, this was the warm up and my test would start just around here and, and let's say here. Okay. Um, and the first tip pacing means you should not start too hard. I would push hard like just below 300 watts, even over 300 watts and it was way too much since I was going down and down with my power. So it would be good to do the opposite. Start with just around 220 watts and go up and see what, what the body uh, tells you. This is very helpful not only for the FTP test, but even more for training and racing. If you need to race, if you do some time trialing or you are doing MTB marathon on some long flat section, you need to know how to be pacing. Don't start too hard. We know when we are racing, we, we just from the, from the very start, we just push those, those high watts. But uh, when you know everything settles down, make sure you are doing your own pace, not too much because my power was just going down. This is very easy uh, tip, but to learn it, it takes time and practice. Know how to pace and don't go too hard, okay? Time trialists, for example, they divide their distance uh, in two halves and the first, first half they try to go pretty not hard, just below FTP, well below uh, FTP uh, and then they will see what the legs will, will tell them in the second half on that um, race. Okay, uh, the uh, second uh, tip is the cadence and the third one is resistance or the gearing. Resistance if you are on the turbo trainer, gearing if you are just uh, cycling in the real world. Now here I've I had been having some problems with my Zwift because I've been doing this test on Zwift and Zwift, Zwift was pushing down, it's always pushing my cadence down just below uh, 80 RPMs, maybe even 70 RPMs. So I'm not doing really well on like races, crit races on Zwift because uh, it pushes me down with my cadence. I know the uh, ERG mode, uh, it's, it's on, it should be working, but um, I'm always starting with my bigger chain ring in the front and I need to end up with the small chain ring and someone just sometimes just I would just go like the lowest gear. So my cadence here I started with 85. It would go just around 85, sometimes just uh, above that, but then uh, just around 80 and even below 80, which is way too low. My muscles were so tired and and it should not be like that for my, uh, for my FTP test. So also know your best cadence, but try to be training around 90, over 90 RPMs. I should be doing it just around 95 uh, RPMs. The third one is the resistance. So that's something I could not uh, control. But what I did, the third tip, is the next day, I was still tired after FTP test, I did another one. And my FTP on Saturday was 252, 20 watts more than on Friday. Why so? Because I didn't do it through the Zwift. Uh, I did my test um, just um, by connecting my Bushido to my Garmin and setting almost no resistance on the Turbo Trainer and just use my gearing. And now look at my cadence. So the cadence is here, that's the number. Uh, this is my test, so it's 91, 90, 92, 93, 93, 94, 
95. I'm trying also, I'm just trying how it would feel uh, just around 100. It was a bit too, too much, but as you can see, over 90 uh, is a good cadence. So I was still, my legs were sore. I was still tired, did not recover after that hard uh, test, but I did better. Uh, so you should find the best cadence for you and try not to go below 90. Um, 90 rpms and for that you need the, the tip number three you just use your gearing in the real world or just resistance or your turbo, turbo trainer so that you will be able to sustain uh, that cadence for the your FTP test or if you need to do some time trailing right MTB or road uh, just try to be around 90 95 many cyclists would just feel so good uh, for my power intervals, for example, which are short, minute, two, three minutes, I would go well be beyond 100, like 110, 150 RPMs. So high cadence really does help. So Friday, low cadence and um, just uh, wrong pacing, too many watts at the beginning, too much of the resistance from my Zwift and my FTP was 232 Saturday better cadence, better pacing. I would start with 240, 240, 250, and I would even go up to 80, 280, 280, 290. So I was able to push my, uh, my power up, which is really good. And then on Saturday, my FTP was 20 watts more. Learning how to, uh, how to pace is super important knowing your best cadence really important and then not only FTP but the real world racing training will be better so these are my tips uh, so your comments were all right and I, I agree with them thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next cycling academy bye